Right, you guys, today we're taking a look at how to reset a forgotten Windows 11 or Windows 10 password for free. Now, if you're locked out of your computer and it's a local account, which means you're not signed into a Microsoft account and linked to it, it should look something like this saying local account, then you can reset the password for free and I'll show you how to do it in this video. So if you're typing in your password, something like this, and you can't access it because you're locked out, then let's uh, take a look at how we can do it. So first off, what you're gonna need to do is download Hiram's Boot CD PE. Win PE stands for Windows Pre-Installed Environment. You can download the ISO file, and then we can go ahead and create a bootable USB flash drive with this file and boot to it, and then reset our password. So I'm gonna go ahead and download Rufus, and then we'll get this set up and I'll show you how to reset it. So head over to Rufus website and download their software and then we can then go ahead and create a bootable USB flash drive. Now before we continue, let's have a quick word from today's video sponsor, CD Key Sales. Now if you're looking for a cheap Windows 10 Pro or an Office key, then head over to CD Key Sales, create an account or use the links in the video description and basically head over to CD Key Sales and then all you need to do is choose what you want, click on the buy now button and add in my promo code capital B, capital R, 09, and apply this to your order, and you'll get a 30% discount on your order. They will then send you your key to your account. You can then use this key to activate your version of Windows. Anyway, let's get back to the tutorial. We've got our Rufus downloaded and open. I'm gonna select my ISO file and basically set GPT as the partition scheme. You can choose MBR if you wish. I'm gonna use the targeted system UEFI non-CSM. I'm going to leave this as FAT32 and we can now click OK to format our USB flash drive and this will put on HBCD PE onto our USB flash drive. Once that's completed, it does take a bit of time. It will say completed and ready to go. We can close this off and then go to our PC and boot to our USB flash drive. So you'll need to boot into your BIOS and change the boot order to boot to your USB flash drive. This will then load up our USB flash drive with Hiram's Boot CD PE on here. And basically, once this is loaded, we will then be able to use the password reset feature inside of this USB flash drive. So let's go ahead and let Windows load up. It does take a bit of time. Now, remember, this is not your Windows booting up. This is the actual USB flash drive with the Hiram's PE on it booting up. So it's called a pre-installed environment, and this is what you're looking at right here. It does take a bit of time to boot up because it's booting into memory. So we're just gonna let this load up a little bit here. And there we go, we can now see Iron's boot CD PE. Let this load in. And once she's loaded in, you should see the desktop here. So I'm just gonna let that load up, there we go. Now, once we've got this loaded in, we can then go to our security section and load in our password reset software. And it's completely free to use, so I'm gonna just let this finish off loading up. And once this is done, we can go to the start button here and go to program section. So let me just go to the program section here. There we go. And security, passwords, and you've got a few options here. I'm using the NT password edit software here. And once we've got here, you should see the link here going to our SAM area here, which is inside our system32 config. And you can change that path, but I'm gonna leave that as is because that's where we want to go and click open. And you should now see the user accounts for the PC. So we're gonna be clicking on the user account or what we wanna log into. In my case, it's Brightech. Yours will be something different. Once you click on unlock, it will unlock it or you can click on the change password and leave it blank. When you leave it blank, it will just remove the password from that account. Click Save Changes, click Exit, and then shut down your PC and remove the USB flash drive. Change your boot order back to boot to your drive, and you should find it will just boot straight into Windows without asking for your password because we reset it and removed it from the actual uh, login process. So let's go ahead and do that right now. I'm just gonna quickly shut down here and restart the computer. So now we're rebooting the PC up and up she comes and it should get to the login screen and just go straight into uh, Windows itself. And there we go. 
it's now logging in and we're at the desktop. We remove the password and this could be a way of resetting your forgotten password on Windows 11 or Windows 10 or any other version of Windows. Now, the thing to remember, it has to be a local account. This will not reset your password if it is a Microsoft account that you're logged into because that is a different process altogether. I have made videos on how to do that, but basically this is how you can reset the password on a local account on Windows 11 or Windows 10. Pretty straightforward stuff. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope this video has been some sort of use to you. If it has, then give the video a thumbs up. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. And a special shout out goes to Rock and Roll Rebel, Michael Gadda, Gigi, David Lees, Waleed, PC Repair Tech, Edward Kelly, Albert Houston, Celtic Lad, Big Daddy, Gary Belts, Mike Bigness, Jedi Buddhist, Geo Sam, and Welsh Tony One. I really do appreciate the support, and I shall catch you in the very next video. Happy New Year to everyone. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.